Hi everybody. Uh, I took a walk today and um, it's absolutely a beautiful day. But I wanted to come and see the horses. And this is just um, a video today just showing that I'm out and about. Oh, I'll just show you these horses. These are my uh, favorites. So here we go. I'm going to see if I can zoom up on them because it's kind of torturous to walk trying to get close because I'm right behind the wire fence. Anyway, let me see if I can, yeah, see that one? I think the one on the left is a paint. I don't know what the brown one is, but they're both beautiful creatures, so. Hey, you want to come over here? Oh, you're in camera. Well, um, that was about the best I could do right now. Oh, I see some birds over here. Um, I think they're geese, so let me try to zoom in on those. I don't think, I'll see how far this magnification goes, because I'm pretty far away from all of this. But let me turn the camera around. Let me see the zoom in. best I could do but it's just such a beautiful day today and I just wanted to kind of um, be out here today and I just wanted to get some horses and stuff like that but right now um, let me see if I can put this phone in another hand hey I want to see the clouds Yeah, um, let's do some walking and talking right now. I'm just going to take a walk while you're walking with me. Now, I'm really not going to turn this camera around because I'm actually on somebody else's property. And I just kind of walked on it just so I could get a video of the horses. But um, today, uh, it's just a beautiful day. I've been up since about 4.30 this morning. Just in the Lord worshiping him and you know I like to do I've been doing a lot of videos lately but sometimes I like these authentic videos the best because uh, I'm not behind the screen all the time and I don't mind doing going live and doing videos and I love the technology but sometimes um, I like to do videos to where, you know, like I'm talking to a friend right now, but yet I'm talking to you, okay? And even though I'm not really looking at you right now because I'm watching where I'm going as I walk, um, right now, um, you're hearing dogs in the background. I like to just kind of look around. And uh, when I cross the street over here, um, I'll turn this around because this is a beautiful ranch over here. And um, it really is a beautiful ranch. And I call it a ranch because they got horses. And um, this guy that of the creek that I showed you got geese and got ducks and stuff like that. No, I don't know the people or anything like that. I just like to come out here. You know, it's it's very pretty today. But um, I like to be authentic, and I just wanted to get out. So I'll show you this.
Okay. I showed you the word charity. Now, where have we seen that? King James. Um, let me get another one. King James Bible. 1 Corinthians 13. And the word charity means love. Okay? And nowadays, uh, in our modern times of the 20th and the 21st century that we're living in right now, um, these charities were set up. There are different charities set up to help uh, to help different people that are actually in need. Well, it started long ago, and if you remember uh, when King James was on the throne in England, uh, they brought out a Bible, and how they talked back then was the thou and And yours and the word charity um, literally in our language of today means love now we take the word love and within the word love it literally can be used different ways well in the King James Version of the Bible the word charity it's the unconditional love of God that covers a multitude of sins. So, think about it this way. When Jesus Christ went to the cross for you out of Ephesians 2. Now, I'm getting out of the road again because there's a car. When Jesus Christ went to, went to the cross for you out of Ephesians 2. It talks about His grace it talks about how much he loved you, how much he loved me, to the point of sending his begotten son. And this morning I talked about that out of Ephesians 1.14. Jesus Christ is begotten of God because he is the word of God made flesh okay and he's Jesus Christ stepped out of eternity into time of what we know now so that humanity so that you through him might be saved and that you could get to know your creator as your Abba Father now that is the unconditional love of God and conditional love is like loving your brother affectionate that's the phileo okay now I forgot the other one and I'm trying to think of that right now but it basically what I'm talking about and what the Bible talks about is the agape oh thank you Lord thank you Holy Spirit that's the agape love of God. That is Greek. That is the unconditional love of God. And let me give you an example of that. A loyal dog uh, waits for his parent, waits for his master to come home. They come home each day. They wag their tail because they miss their master. Even when humans fall out of friendship, you know, they'll be friends, and then they'll have a falling out, okay? Been there, done that. But guess what? While we haven't been faithful to each other, like a dog that is faithful to his master, and like a dog that loves his human, God loves us with his unconditional love that covers a multitude of sins. Now, when you really um, start, 
start talking about and digging into 1 Corinthians 13. And you get right at the end of it. And it talks about love. It talks about charity, okay? Um, what I will say is this. When Apostle Paul gets to the end of it, it says, without love, you can operate in the spiritual gifts. And I'm paraphrasing this. You can operate in the gift of faith. You can operate in the gift of speaking in tongues. You can operate in the gift of miracles. Well, without love, honestly, God's not going to know you. God's not going to recognize you because whenever you get up to that throne of judgment on that day and when that mass and when the ultimate judge says let me get out of the room when that ultimate judge says I don't know you I know you not and he says well we did all of this stuff in your name I know you not so what does that mean right there for me personally, ministry is great. Ministry is service to others. But what about our ministry to the Lord first? What about having our relationship with God? Because it is only through our intimate, personal relationship with God that he is only going to be able to use us and to bring us together with like-minded believers that have put aside our differences. And as we put aside our differences, our minds are not on ourselves. Our minds are not on our flesh. Our minds are not on our egos and me, myself, and my ministry. Our minds are upon him in that moment and worshiping him then if somebody has a need a prayer need and it's life threatening we can pray and minister to the sick and when we lay hands on the sick and we minister to the sick and we pray in agreement where any two agree is in touching anything on earth, God will do it. Because our minds are upon Him. And when our minds, and we are like-minded, hi, and our minds are upon the Lord, it is the true body of Christ operating in the unity. And Jesus Christ is the head. And in that moment, you are showing love for that person because your compassion and your pity for that person is alive. It's the Holy Spirit inside of you is alive. And with the Holy Spirit inside of you, that's alive. And whenever you put your flesh aside, you're coming together. love of God through you that will heal that person and they will become whole and that's where the signs wonders and miracles happen but we have to get our selves out of the way first get our minds upon the Lord and have a relationship with the Holy Spirit inside of us because he is the person he is the person of Jesus Christ I feel all of this wind around I feel all of this wind around me today turn this up. See all of the clouds? Let me zoom out. See all of the clouds right here. 
that tells me right there that God is hearing me. That it is the love of God that literally covers a multitude of sins. It is the love of God that wants to rescue to move in your life and to heal you today. And if you have a need today, I am coming into agreement with you where any two agree is of touching anything on earth. And that nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with God. Because when upon that throne of judgment. I don't want God to tell me. I don't know you. Because it is through the love of God that is with me right now that knows you and wants to save your soul and wants to heal you. But you can only come through God only through Jesus Christ. And my question is to you today, do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you know Him? And if you don't, we're going to do an altar prayer right now. And I just felt led to the Lord just to kind of step off the road just a little bit today. And I'm just kind of standing in... in on somebody's crass right now <laughs> but that's all right um because i'm doing a video and i don't want to get hit by any cars but there's not many cars around here but all you got to do if you want to get saved today in the name of jesus then let's pray this prayer dear lord jesus forgive me of my sins and save me. For your word says that if I just believe that you went to the cross for me, then I'm saved. But Lord, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Teach me how to have a relationship with you. Teach me what I'm supposed to do in you. Teach me that my main purpose upon coming to earth is to serve you and teach me first how to have a right relationship with you. And as I have a right relationship with you, I know that I know. Show me what I'm supposed to do for you, God. And teach me how to always, always love one another, to love you with all of my heart the way that you love me. And to love myself and to always always minister out of your love and out of your Holy Spirit where God you are holy in Jesus name amen and a now, if you've prayed that prayer today, welcome, welcome into the kingdom of God, into the kingdom. But you got to remember out of 1 Corinthians 13, all the way to the end of the chapter, that everything we do must be done 
in love. Because for me personally, I do I never want to hear God. I never want to hear Jesus tell me that I don't know you. I want him to tell me, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. Because you know what? In this day and time, we need to cultivate. We need to, number one, get to know Jesus, get to know God, and get to know who they are to us and who we are to them, to Him. One God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. One God. And I think that's out of the book of Matthew. And I'll have to uh, find that scripture later. <laughs> this, bar this dog over here, I'm not going to turn the camera around, but this dog is barking at me. But I'm way far, so you don't have to worry about that. But today... Uh, excuse me, my nose is itching. But today, um, I just felt led of the Lord just to remind you that everything that we do, number one, we do word, we do also in deed along with doing it in word. In other words, we do what we say we're going to do. But do it in the love of God because the love of God covers a multitude of sins to many. It is the love of the Lord that covers a multitude of sins. Now, I don't know why I'm saying this. I know I'm repeating myself, and that's okay. But somebody needs to hear this today. <laughs> that it is the love of God because God is love. God is light because in that love you can see the light <laughs> of God because it is through the love of God that and your relationship with Him. That God moves. Because signs, wonders, and miracles follow them that believe. <clears throat> it is only through the love of God that we can operate in the gifts of the Spirit, which I believe is in, I'll have to take a look to see where it is, but it's nine gifts of the Spirit. But for me, the gift of love should be number one, and it should be the ten gifts of the Spirit, because I know that God can use anyone in a moment because it is the love of God through that person, okay? But we need to come to a place ourselves. Let me get out of the way. Give me just a second here. Eh, yeah, that person wasn't going to slow down for me. But it is through the love of God <laughs> that covers a multitude of sins, how we can operate and truly, truly, truly operate because our minds are upon the Lord in that moment. And as our minds are upon the Lord in that moment and we're together in the fellowship of the body of believers, when we get our, when we get our flesh out of the way and it's under subjection and it's not about me, myself, I, and my ministry, <clears throat> we come together and fellowship for the love of God. 
That's where God can use us to lay hands on the sick and recover. But remember this, that it is only through love, true love, that the gifts of God really work. All right. Bye-bye.